Hello there, and I'm back from my travels overseas. Today's video is a bit of a continuation of the Frankenstein CNC uh, milling machine conversion. And today I build an enclosure because I, I want to run it with flood coolant and, uh, you know, I don't want coolant all over the floor. So um, what I've elected to do is construct it with marine ply. Now this is actually a piece of three quarter inch uh, form board, very good form board for what would normally be used for concrete. And I'm cutting out a square here um, to fit in, um, well it's a metal gauze um, for sieving out then the um, metal particles from the coolant. So to stop the tray and the mesh from falling all the way through, um, I just had some stainless steel screws and some washers that I put on the underside to stop it um, going all the way through and give it a bit of a stop there. And uh, I wanted it so I could um, remove it uh, for cleaning purposes. And so I'm just making it fit a little, um, little tighter there. What I'm doing now is I'm actually using a piece of the material um, that I'm going to construct the body with, which I think is, uh, I think it was, it's a big quarter inch ply, but it's in metric actually. It's uh, six millimeter. So um, I was just using it as a, like a gauge block rather than trying to draw a line because the form board or marine ply is coated with a very sort of it's a little bit like Teflon and um, it doesn't mark very well so what you saw me doing just then was um, I, I purchased a stainless steel cooking pot actually that was on special at Woolworths and um, it, it makes a good sump for the coolant <coughs> rather than purposely welding something up uh, it saves a lot of time if you can if you could purchase something, purchase something and sort of um, give it a new job, which is what I did. So what I'm doing now is I'm screwing together the subframe that uh, everything connects to. If you notice, it's like a H. You see the H there in the middle? They're strategically placed because that's where the, um, um, the securing holes then for the mini mill base is going to go um, so I wanted it um, fairly sturdy even even though the, the mini mill itself now weighs approximately 70 kilos which is about a hundred uh, nearly 150 pounds um, you know this is um, s strong enough and what I'm actually building here is well really a standard sturdy bench uh, this sort of, um, I suppose, dedicated for, um, you know, a flood coolant milling machine. So, um, you know, if you wanted to build a bench, I suppose you could follow along with this. And um, you'd have a very sturdy bench as well. Um, in a moment, I, um, I put on wheels as well. And I, I complete the base then and uh, then start working on the top. But, uh, so what I did was I pinned, uh, pinned it all up with a, a brad nailer and then screwed it all together. And I also used glue as well for the side panels to uh, make a real sturdy job of it. I'm using this format of uh, recording video and then uh, dubbing over with audio because um, of course in Tasmania now it's uh, well pretty well winter time and um, we get a lot of storms down here and being a, a metal shed um, of course you, <laughs> you pick up all the wind and the rain noise and it's very difficult to um, talk even with a lapel mic um, it's difficult to get um, an audio level in the workshop without shouting so um, 
I, th I thought this would be the best uh, thing. So here I am try trying the the coolant sump uh, in and uh, making sure everything fits. Because so sometimes you're, you're working away and uh, you forget yourself and you put something in, in a position and you think, oh crumbs, I forgot about that or whatever. And you've got to take something back out and redo it again. So I like to check things as I'm going along now. So yeah, I am using a Brad. These are, um, I think, inch and a half, something like that, inch and a half Brads. Um, and they, they, you know, they don't quite go all the way through the combined material. There, they're starting to get a bit heavy now too. So uh, <laughs> I thought, okay, let's get the wheels on it and get it on the ground, and we'll use it as a bench. So what I'm actually doing now is. I'm putting down the main sort of substructure then for the top and um, this is actually going to be like the I suppose the watermark because I'm, I'm gluing and um, breading and I, I run around and, and screw it all down as well so um, this will sort of um, direct all the coolant or whatever coolant is lying around on the top there um, you know, it'll sort of channel it all the way down to the um, collection area down the other end. Um, I, you know, I don't want to have the coolant in permanent contact with. The, oh, this is one of the side. Oh, this is the front actually that I'm going to cut out with the laser. It's um, quite hard. This material. Uh, it's it's not soft wood uh, ply. It's um, it's a hard wood ply. Um, like I say, it's six millimeter. I mean, the, the hundred watt laser cut through it without any trouble at all. But uh, I did find I had to turn it, turn the power up to um, get it through in one cut. But uh, you know, it, it cut through pretty well, actually. What I'm also demonstrating here is, I suppose, a look into the future of uh, you know the home shop small business uh, or even large business really um, these CNC uh, routers and lasers they're going to be commonplace um, in the future of you know most people's uh, home workshops all the other normal type of um, wood working and metal working machinery uh, but you know these CNC or computer aided and computer operated machines they're going to be quite normal in, um, in you know the home shop and the small business as well as the the large business but a combination of these different uh, machines um, in the future is going to be a requirement and quite a normal sight I suppose in someone's workshop so what I'm doing now actually is uh, cutting out one of these side panels. No, this is one of the doors actually. And uh, oh yes, yeah, so I started to put the hinges on. Um, this is an interesting process that I've used for quite some years now. Is I actually drill through, and this works in sort of hard wood type material. And I get a screw, not a wood screw, like a metal screw. And um, I actually screw it into the wood, and the screw makes the thread in the wood, uh, and it's quite firm. But um, after I do this process, I turn it over and uh, I put some uh, stainless steel uh, lock nuts on as well, actually. I mean, this isn't going to work for uh, a kitchen cabinet or anything like that, but certainly out in the workshop, uh, it, uh, it's a system that works very well. So here I am now putting the front on. I did actually video putting the sides on, but I don't know what happened to that bit of film. I couldn't find it, so <laughs> it's missing. I've also found over the years of working with wood, um, 
it, it, especially working by yourself too, it's um, very easy to, um, or it makes the job very easy to get a, a, a brad nailer and um, brad something at first then, um, you know, then screw it as well. So here, here I am putting the, the doors on. You know, I mean, it's not a kitchen cabinet or anything like that. It is a, a workshop unit. I'm sort of making a tidy job of it, but um, it sort of suits its purpose. So, uh, anyway, coming to nearly the end of uh, this video now. Um, what I'm going to do is um, I'll make the next video will be me um, uh, dismantling the uh, little mini mill and putting it into this uh, enclosure and connecting it all up. I think you'll find that uh, quite interesting and uh, get it all working. So um, I think I say a cheerio in a minute on the video, but I'll say cheerio here now. Bye for now. give it a run but uh, this is now completed so we'll call this video uh, finished now and I'll publish this video and the next video will be fitting the, the little mini mill over there into this unit and um, getting it all working and complete the project so it's bye for now and don't forget Tune into my channel, and uh, there's oh, getting on for 300 videos now between my two channels for you to uh, have a look at. And I'm sure there's something there to interest you. So it's bye for now. <laughs>